Hi guys, my name is Ezra Soferman. I'm a documentary filmmaker and photographer in Montreal. I'm gonna tell you a little story. I run something called Hemp for the Homeless. It started in 2007. It came from a crazy idea to put hemp to work to help people on the streets. We have these hemp help kits, tote bags filled with functional and nutritious hemp goods, and we give them out to people in different cities. We've done it in Montreal, we've done it in Denver, Colorado. This past weekend, I worked with my daughter, Lulu. We put together 150 kits filled with hemp goods from donor companies that make hemp products that wanted to support our cause. These are items like hemp masks from India made by hand by women in the mountains up there at the Hemp Foundation. Hemp soap from Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps in California. Hand sanitizers from Dr. Bronner's. Evo Hemp in Colorado sent us hemp bars in different flavors, they're delicious. We also got hemp and organic cotton socks from Enviro Textiles in Colorado. We have hemp seeds, nutritious, high fiber, high protein hemp seeds. And last but not least, delicious hemp oatmeal cookies from Rustique Pie Shop in St. Henry in Montreal. I headed down to Rustique with hemp seeds. It was the first time they were gonna make hemp seed cookies and baker Megan worked her magic to make 300 hemp oatmeal cookies. Hi, I'm Megan from Rustic. I'm gonna show you uh, how to do the cookie for hemp uh, for the homemade. Watch. Once the 300 cookies were all ready, I jetted back to my place with them and started packing up the boxes with our 150 hemp health kits to load them up and take them out downtown to Resilience Montreal that helps mostly native homeless people in the Cabot Square area. It's been an especially rough year for the homeless population in Montreal with COVID. We're also dealing with another Montreal winter. This has not been easy. Resilience Montreal is out there day in and day out helping these people on the streets who come in from Cabot Square in to get a warm meal, to get help, to get products and services. I had a chance to meet with Naguset, the co-founder of Resilience Montreal, also Margot and the team of volunteers. It was an incredible day that we spent there giving out these 150 hemp help kits to their clients. This was our fifth time doing Hemp for the Homeless, another incredible experience. I consider it a great success. Why? Because all of us came together to help people in need out on the streets. To all our donors, our sponsors, our partners, to the clients of Resilience Montreal, to you who are watching this and supporting us, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and the top of my hemp help kits, thank you. And remember, hemp is not just an incredibly environmentally friendly plant, it's also the most versatile plant on the planet. It can do everything from food to fuel, fiber, fabric, paper, paint, pretzels, plastic, you name it. Hemp is there for us and it can also help people out on the streets. All the best guys, thanks so much. We've worked together to show that hemp can help.